Hi, this is Milani. Chapter 12, Section 3, Problem Number 9. By looking at this problem, the first thing will catch your eye is the division. That means you are dealing with the quotient rule. The quotient rule says derivative of a top times the bottom minus the bottom times derivative of a top over the bottom to the exponent 2. Now, right here, by looking at it, in the side of my paper, I'm going to get the derivative of a top part. I have a parenthesis to the exponent 4. That means I'm dealing with a chain rule, which chain rule says, bring the exponent down, carbon copy inside, exponent take away 1, I had a 4, now it's become 3, then times derivative of it inside the parentheses, derivative of a 5t minus 6 is become 5. As we talked about it before, if you can simplify do, that means 4 times 5 is going to be 20. This is the derivative of a top. Derivative of a bottom, derivative of a 3, t to exponent 2 plus 4, is become 6t. Now, let's go by the quotient rule. Derivative of a top part, which is 20 times this parenthesis exponent 3, times my denominator the carbon copy if you have more than one terms keep it inside the parentheses then minus derivative of a denominator which is 60 times my top part with exact the same exponent over denominator to the exponent 2 Anytime you're dealing with the quotient rule, when you got your calculus, after that you have to look for the GCF. Number outside, I have a 20, I have a 6. That means 2 is the GCF. The letter outside, I don't have anything here. The parentheses, as you pay attention, this parentheses is exact the same as this parentheses. But exponent 3 is the lowest exponent that is your GCF. Then GCF is going to be 2 and then it's going to be this parenthesis to the exponent 3. When I factor the GCF from the first term, that means this divided by this. 20 divided by 2 is going to be 10. This one with the exponent 3, with this exponent 3 is gone, but this is, is left. Again, 10, and this parenthesis is left. Minus 60 parenthesis 5t minus 6 with exponent 4 divided by this. 60 times 2 is going to be 3t, and then I have all of these parentheses, 3 is out, then 1 is left. That is going to be left inside the bracket. Now from here, the GCF just carry it down. And here, inside the bracket, 10 times inside this parentheses means 10 times 3, t to exponent 2, which is become 30, t to exponent 2, 10 times 4, 40, then minus 3t times 5t, minus 15t to exponent 2, minus 3, times minus 6 is become positive 18t. We need to clean up inside the parentheses combined like a term. 30t to exponent 2, minus 15 t to exponent 2 is become 15 t to exponent 2. And this 18 t carry it down, positive 40 carry it down. I do not have any GCF inside this parenthesis. That means that's it. 
That is my answer.